This is Shepard, and I would like to tell you what I think about sustainability and Agenda 21. I think at this point, most people realize that I don't love the United Nations Agenda 21. And if you're not familiar with what that is, you can Google it and go to the United Nations website and they have it. They have it on their website. Uh, it's another name for it is sustainability and this whole movement, just in short, um, what it is, and, and I'm not going to get subjective here. I'm just going to basically tell you what it is. It, it's the idea that because of the belief that the world is coming to an end fairly soon due to global warming or since that was a not a sure thing anymore, climate change, whatever we want to call it. Since the world is coming to an end pretty soon, we should all kind of panic and take drastic action so that that doesn't happen. If we don't, uh, horrible things will happen to our children and grandchildren and all the animals and plants. And what it is that we're supposed to do is move into urban centers. They're called human settlements. And so we need to move closer to public transportation corridors we need to have more wild open space. So all the areas where people used to ride motorcycles and horses and uh, that kind of thing, those need to be for only hikers and only during certain seasons. And we need to have more wildlife roaming, more area. Humans all need to be concentrated. When they come to these areas, they need to use less resources because according to this narrative, conspiracy theory, whatever, there just isn't going to be enough firewood for the rest of humanity for the rest of time. And if they do burn it, it'll kill the ozone layer. Um, there's not going to be enough fish or, or food, other kinds of food. So we all have to eat fewer calories and we have to um, you know, travel uh, just a lower lifestyle or not as comfortable as a lifestyle as we currently enjoy in the United States in the uh, 2010s right now. And that is the narrative that's being given. That's what it, the United Nations Sustainable Development is, is that the people, the wealthy people in more advanced countries need to go back to the kind of more of the average of the rest of the world and no more with these daily 20-minute hot showers. Um, we need to use way less water and not use up the resources to heat the uh, water to, before we, we use it. And we need to use bicycles and not cars. And uh, so there's this whole movement to this effect. And if you look, if you learn a bit more about it than the quick details I gave, uh, actually look into it and, and what it says, and then you'll notice it all around you. You'll notice every little thing that the local government has changed all of their planning, uh, their building and planning rules. You'll notice the stripes in the parking lot. They're getting smaller and smaller, the space between vehicles or, or space for vehicles to encourage people to use smaller vehicles, weaning them toward using uh, bicycles instead of the big, huge pickup trucks. And you're going to notice that there are all the buildings that are getting approved or most of them are going to have the bottom floor uh, is going to be a commercial area. And then the top floor or two or three will be for residential, only one parking space per unit. Uh, that's to, again, reduce motor vehicles because motor vehicles are not sustainable. Bicycles are. Uh, bicycles good. Cars bad. Uh, you're going to notice the sidewalks in front are wide. There's probably a patio type area out there with trees planted in it. Uh, you're going to notice that a lot of the streets in your town uh, are going from four lanes that are perhaps too congested already that need to be bigger. Uh, they're going down to two lanes. And you're going to notice that there are way more bicycle paths all over. Uh, the bicycle paths are getting wider. Barricades are being put between the, uh, uh, the bicycle area and the car area to make it even tougher to drive a car there. Makes you really want to have a bicycle. So this is kind of a an social engineering, not social, it's a government engineering thing because of uh, Agenda 21. Agenda 21 is uh, called a non-binding recommendation or program. So in other words, the idea is, well, the United Nations isn't telling your local city and county to do these things. It's just providing a framework for what might be good for the environment and the little koala bears. And non-binding, is kind of a, a cute, clever, dishonest, shady way of saying a different way to get people to do what you want. So if the mobster winks at his underling and says, you need to go get that money from Mrs. Jones. She needs to pay up or bad things are going to happen to her. 
that could be considered a non-binding agreement. And there's, you know, it's nothing written. There's no, the mobster didn't put a contract uh, down, a written contract, and say, hey, if you don't go get the money from Mrs. Jones and put a gun to her head, I'm going to have you killed. Well, not, none of that is written down. It's not a binding thing. It's just kind of a veiled, uh, this is what's going to happen. So that's just kind of a real quick summary of, of what's going on and why I think it's a bad idea and why I think that human beings ought to uh, just go about making their own decisions without having other people who think they know better and want to rule the rest of people to come in and, uh, and, and tell the rest of us that we have to do this or have to do that, put these scare tactics on us about you know global catastrophe that, that aren't true. That's kind of my outlook and why I'm so opposed to it, and I wish... 99% of newspapers and politicians and school teachers and mainstream folks weren't either useful idiots, uh, and I don't mean that like in a, in a derogatory way. That's an actual term. Uh, that, look it up. It's, it's basically when you use somebody without them knowing it, and they buy into your program, and they think that they're saying it from their own standpoint, but they're really just helping you spread what it is you want to spread. So I, I see all these people that are either useful idiots or know the whole plan and they, they know it's kind of manipulative and bad, but they think it's for the greater good for the, the greater number. Uh, and so they go along with it anyway. I'm very disappointed in that. I really wish more of my neighbors and friends and acquaintances would choose peace, would choose getting along with one another and solving things with uh, persuasion rather than force. That would be my strong preference.